So today I want to go over how you can get a character from level 1 to 50 in an hour. Now disclaimer right off the bat, this is a boosting method. You're not going to be able to do this solo. You're going to need somebody that already has a decently high level built character to help you out with this. But if you have anybody that can do that, or if you're a part of any other communities that are probably going to start boosting soon, this is how you go about doing it. And once you get to level 50, that's where the experience starts to drop off very heavily from doing this. So that's where you go and just start to play that character, create your build, farm up gear, and play how you normally would play. And you're going to need one character to have completed the main campaign. That's how you unlock the higher world tiers. But I would fully recommend you go do that on one character before you start boosting other characters. So once you've done that, go create your level one character that you want to boost. Make sure to select skip campaign. This is going to take you to Kovashad. Then you're going to go up to the world tier statue, turn it to world tier two, and then you're going to invite the person that's boosting you. And then you and that person are going to go enter the level 50 capstone dungeon that's also located in Kovashad. And then the level one character getting boosted is just going to AFK at the start of the dungeon. The boosting player is going to go complete the dungeon. So they're going to go all the way through, get to the end, complete the boss. And then you guys are going to exit the dungeon. The boosting character is going to leave the group. You as the boosted character is going to go change your world tier to world tier three. And then once you've done that, you are going to regroup up with your booster. And then you're going to go complete the level 70 capstone dungeon. Now for this, you're going to want to have your booster go and exit enter that capstone dungeon and then you're going to want to teleport to them using their portal in Kovashad. And you're going to do the same exact thing as the last dungeon. The person being boosted going to stand AFK at the front. The person boosting is going to go run through and complete that capstone dungeon as well. And then once done, you're going to teleport back to Kovashad. You guys are going to drop the group and then you're going to go to the world tier statue, change it to world tier four. And then at this point, you're going to want to be invited by the person boosting you because the world is going to go off of the part Party leader. So you want the high level, the person boosting to be the one to invite the characters being boosted. Then you're just going to go to basically whatever dungeon you want to boost them through. And when we did this, we are using the Champion's Demise Dungeon. You've probably seen this. This is the dungeon that basically everybody's using for XP farming. It has the three different lanes. And usually in a full high level group, everybody would take one lane. You would all clear out your lanes. Then you'd go reset the dungeon because you would still all get the XP and loot from everybody else's lane, no matter where they are in the dungeon. But when you're doing this as a boost, depending on how many people you have boosting, just have the people being boosted, chill at the front, AFK, and the high level characters run through, clear all the lanes. Then and you guys reset the dungeon and since you're in a group you have the group leader leave first everybody else drops group the group leader reinvites it'll teleport you all outside of the dungeon you all re-enter rinse and repeat and you can do this in any way you want if you want to have three max level characters boosting one person you can do that that would actually be the quickest way to do it but that would also be three people boosting one character or you could do it with three low level characters and one person boosting you all and they just go clear the dungeon themselves now that would mean they would have to have a higher level character and have a much stronger build probably like around level 80s with a strong build you can do this pretty effectively and pretty quickly and then the three people being boosted are all going to get the same xp and you're just going to see the levels start to shoot up so quickly and there's a couple pieces of information that can make this boosting much more effective so first off you want everybody using an elixir for the people being boosted it does not matter what elixir just make the cheapest one get that five percent xp buff and they do have to be a level five to use this but they'll be passive of five when completing the first two caps on dungeons. And then another thing you can do is have at least two people being boosted because then you're going to get the 5% XP boost being a near another player and that's going to be doubled because you're in a group. But if there's only one person being boosted, they won't get that 10% XP buff increase because everybody else won't be near them. They'll be out clearing the dungeon. So maybe best to have at least two people being boosted and then maybe two higher level characters doing the boosting. And then you would just alternate. You would boost two people's characters up to level 50. They would get on their mains and boost your new characters up to 50. That would be the easiest and best best way to go about boosting, especially when you're in a group of people you know. And then you can also get some very quick gear to start out with while doing this boost. So first off, they're going to be killing all these elites. 
and these elites are going to be dropping a ton of legendaries. Now, legendaries will get sent to your stash if you don't pick them up, but there can only be 10 legendaries in this recovery section at a time. So after you do maybe a few runs of a dungeon, go teleport back to town, go to your stash, and put those legendaries in your normal stash so it can keep sending unlooted legendaries to your stash. And then what we did is the run where we would get level 50, we would have the people boosting, clear out all of the enemies, make sure there's no stragglers, then the people being boosted would run through the dungeon and pick up all of the loot. So they pick up all the rares, all the legendaries, and any uniques that drop. This makes it so that new boosted character can at least have a starter set of gear to equip to go start playing the game normally. And again, this was only taking us around an hour to get a character from level 1 to 50, and in that time, I got a full set of higher level legendary items to start off with my character at level 50. So that's all I want to go over, so thanks for watching.